Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is Word Origins 308. The word origin today is stagflation. Okay, somebody wants a screenshot, go right now. Let's get right to it. If someone says stagflation, it is a situation in which there is high inflation and a stagnant economy, including stagnant growth, high unemployment, and a recession at the same time. It is basically a portmanteau. Remember when we take two words and we just kind of squeeze them together to form a new word? That's a portmanteau of stagnation and inflation. If something stagnates, it stays the same without growing or developing. So it's no real growth. There might even be a little bit of uh, non-growth. Or sometimes if there appears to be some growth in this, it's mostly just inflation. Because in dollar value, it may look like the economy is growing a little bit, but in fact it is not because it's just all inflation. The prices are just higher. So they may actually be producing less articles. The companies are making less profit, even though the dollar value may be higher. So it's not real growth if it's any growth at all. So if there is growth, it's usually just the inflation that appears to be some growth, but is not real growth. Let's continue. Uh, the term is believed to be coined and attributed to Lane McLeod, a conservative party politician in a speech he gave in which he was speaking about the UK economy in the House of Commons in 1965. Here is his quote. We now have the worst of both worlds. Not just inflation on one side or stagflation on the other, but both together. You know, and then later on, he basically says we have a sort of stagflation situation. So he seems to be the first one that said it, and a lot of economists took it from his speech. And this is how we got the word stagflation. Let's continue. And we got four examples of the way you may hear it. Many economists have adopted Lane McLeod's term stagflation to describe a sluggish economy with high inflation. Okay, good. Uh, number two, many economists claim we are experiencing stagflation right now in the economy. Number three, some economists claim we won't be able to raise rates enough without crashing the world economy to counter the stagflation. Yeah, we had stagflation in the 60s and 70s. Finally, in the 70s, we got out. We got out of it by raising rates to a really, really high number. It was double digits. If we raised it up to like, I don't know, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16%. If you did that to the, the world economy now, you'd probably crash it because now we have so much more debt in the world. We didn't have that much debt in the world. Every country is greatly in debt. And even just raising it to 3 or 4% would probably completely crash the world economy. They'll never be able to raise it to the double digits they did in the 70s in order to to fight the inflation. That's how they beat it in the 1970s. When, when we finally were able to get stagflation under control, they were raising the interest rates really high. They, a lot of economists say that that won't work this time. It can't. We will totally crash the, the whole world economy. Every country's economy will go right down if we try to do it that way. Okay, Because the, the interest rates with the amount of debt uh, the interest rate people countries won't be able to pay their debt. It's that simple. All right, number four. Um, thus, uh, the, uh, the, no, the U.S. economy experienced stagflation under Jimmy Carter administration in the 1970s. And yeah, it was finally when he got out of office under the Reagan administration that they were able to, uh, you know, fix it. They were able to deal with it. And then, of course, the economy started coming back under Reagan. Okay, anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it was clear. I hope it was very informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.